Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt Manny. In this episode, we're going over five tips to help you edit faster in Vox Edit. So let's not waste any time. Let's just get in there and do it. Before we get started, just keep in mind these aren't listed in order of importance. These are all useful, they're all going to come into play, they're all going to help you increase your speed, your efficiency, which in turn is going to allow you to have a lot more fun. The most important thing to keep in mind is to combine all of these little tips, tricks, skills and techniques and then you're going to get exponential increases in your ability to just get things created fun, fast, get your ideas out of your head into the program, exported faster. That means more fun for you, more playtime, more money, more of all the things you love. Ah. But seriously, anything I've done in life, at first, there's gonna be a learning curve. There's gonna be a process. It's gonna feel slow and like you're, you got a little rock on your back. You're like, ah. it's not gonna be enjoyable at first. Okay, a little bit of time, some of these tricks, some of these tips. Then all of a sudden you get in that flow state. You're having fun. You're click, 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 click. Next thing you know, all right, I got a little carried away. Next thing you know, you're having a blast and you're not even thinking about what you're doing. Your hands are just flying. So just keep that in mind. Combine these. There's no one all seeing all great tips and tricks. All right, so let's just get started with number five. using color to delete and shape your objects. So in this example, I'm going to use the paint tool and the eraser tool to speed up my workflow. So let's say we have a cube here and I wanna kinda round this out or give it a bit of structure or shape. What I'm going to do, instead of chipping away, I'm gonna take the paint tool and then I'm gonna grab a color. Now I'm gonna find the center. I know this is 10 by 10, so I'll go in five and make this little square. I'm gonna grab another color, it doesn't matter what color, and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint around. Now remember, I'm just showing you the technique. This might seem like it's time consuming, but when you apply this to something you're actually building, especially if it's really complex, you're gonna find that it saves you time with making errors and it really speeds up your workflow. So again, I'm gonna grab another color and I'm just gonna go ahead and make these boxes around here. Grab one more color and just repeat. Okay, now what we're gonna do is grab the eraser mode and the face tool. And I have five colors here, so I know I'm gonna go down at least five. Is that five? Let's see, one, two, yep. And then I can go down four with this one, three with this one, two with this one, and you can see how I have this kind of like this wacky little structure going on here, which doesn't seem like a lot, but like I said, this is really just the technique. I've used this to build out like horns um, along with some other techniques. You can see already, honestly, if I flip this on its side, it kind of looks like the end of like a dumbbell or a barbell for weightlifting. So if you're building like a gym or some kind of strong man that has like dumbbells that he walks around with and maybe uses them as weapons and he smashes people. That'd be pretty cool. Like a Batman villain who just uses like 3000 pound weights that he smashes people with. So you can see how you can build things quickly without worrying about making errors. It's my guess that once you learn some of these tips and tricks, you'll find a lot of ways to use them. And I'd love to see some of the ways that people implement this stuff to help them build not only quicker, but more creatively. Because sometimes, like when I do art freehand with a paintbrush, I'll come up with a technique and it's kind of like a mistake at first. But then as I do it more and more, I'm like, whoa, that kind of produces this really cool technique that I really like. And now I can use that as like a background or I can use that to achieve some kind of grassy structure or you realize that a mistake repeated isn't a mistake at all, then it actually becomes a technique. And then that technique you'll find applications for. So just keep an open mind when you're using this stuff. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but you'll find weird ways to use these things. All right, tip number four is using control and option 
plus your mouse or control and alt on Windows to move around within Vox Edit. Now this might seem really basic, really simple, but to me, I'll be honest, I didn't know this when I started and it was driving me crazy. I was using the rotate and flip buttons to try to get different angles on my Vox creations. As someone who's used to working in three dimensions in After Effects, this was driving me nuts. I had no idea what I was doing. Then I found this. So if you press control and use your mouse, you'll be able to move this thing around along all of your XI. And then you can use option and it locks in and it moves just along one axis, okay? So you can move like this with control, then you can move up and down. You can swivel around and you can move all like this. Ba -ba -ba -bam -ba -bam -ba -bam. So that's gonna save you a ton of time as you're working. Get those two fingers used to it, get ready. Now, I don't know if that's natural for you. I'm a piano player, so I'm used to using both hands on these things. Maybe you're a gamer, but trust me, you'll get used to it fast. It's like second nature. Sometimes when I'm watching videos, I start doing it like I'm in there. You just get so used to it. So learn it, use it, love it. All right, tip number three, using the mirroring tools within Vox Editor. So the mirroring tools are these three up here. If you go ahead and click those on, you'll see it creates these shadowy planes on each of the axis, X, Y, and Z. Now what this allows you to do is build in multiple quadrants. All right, so what I have here is like this sci-fi spacey time machine thing, and I wanna build like temple pillars from the floor to the ceiling. So a quick way to do that is I turned on my mirroring, go down here. Let's just say I start building this out with my line tool and then I'll go to my face tool and just add that in and click away. Now, if you look, I'm building this perfectly congruent in all four quadrants. Now you can see how fast this could be. Not only that, it's building it from the ceiling so I could meet these up and then I could build these right along here and make this really cool like temple look. Now, some people are gonna go ahead and say, hey, that's great, looks beautiful, looks amazing, but it's not usable in game. Now, not everything does have to be usable. Some things are just gonna be for aesthetics. So in that case, you could really make something that looks super cool and it's just like a background piece or a wall or just something that looks visually amazing. You can do it quick. However, what I'd like to say is I would take something like this and bring it into the animator and then I would just duplicate it a bunch of times. I would duplicate this entire structure that I've made and then when I know, let's say I just need this middle beam or I just need a side wall or I just need the floor, or I just need the ceiling, I'll just go ahead and delete out everything else, then use my trim tool, trim it down to just that piece, and then I have that perfectly made in the animator. For me, this is what works. It might not work for you, it might not work for everybody, but go ahead, try it out. You might find that you like it. Think of putting together a puzzle. For me, I need the image on the front of the box to be able to see what I'm putting together. That's what this is to me. I build this whole giant thing out using my mirroring tools. It not only helps me work faster, again, it makes me more creative because as I'm kind of just pulling things around, stuff's happening in four quadrants that looks amazing and I would have never thought to do that myself. So like, for example, let me just take, like this whole floor pattern, for example, I came up with that totally by accident because let me take my paint tool, and then my line tool. And if I go on the floor and I just start making shapes, you can see how very quickly you can make like some alien graphics or alien hieroglyphic things going on. And that looks pretty wild. It's like some kind of alien language or something. Right, or maybe it kind of looks like the old Mario game with like the Donkey Kong layers and the barrels. I don't know, maybe my brain needs some video gaming. Either way, you can see how powerful this is. And it's also on the ceiling. Oh, awesome. So mirroring, learn it, use it, kill it, love it. And now a message from our sponsors. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Matt Manny, and I don't have any sponsors, but man, would I enjoy some. That's why it's so gosh darn important that you hit like and subscribe. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programs. <laughs> All right, so I'm working on this abominable snowman head thing here, and I got two horns, all right? Let's say I didn't have one of these. Let's delete this one. Let's say this was never here. Use your imagination. All right, so that was never here. So I have one here, and I don't feel like trying to build this other one out and get it all symmetrical and everything. Yeah, I could use the mirroring tool, but then, eh, I don't know. It's too late for that, all right? I messed up. So let's see, how can I reproduce this? Well, I'm gonna go up to the selection mode here. And then now if I select this entire thing, right? I just go up and I select the whole thing. And then I go to edit, copy, edit, paste. And then I move it over. You see, it's not facing the right orientation. Now, if this was something like After Effects, then I'd be able to just rotate. Now, currently that tool doesn't exist in here. For example, if I use like the flip tool, it flips everything, okay? You can see that red beam I have over his eye. If I flip that, now it's on the wrong side. So it doesn't solve my problem. Doesn't matter what I do, this isn't going to work. So here's what you can do. You gotta not think about this as a single hole and just think of it as layers. So you can see here I have this one plane that goes down and I have another plane that goes down, right? So if we look at it that way, I can basically select this first chunk, go to edit, copy, edit, paste, and then move that over. Right? Now you can see where I'm going with this. All right, so that's the first layer. Then again, I go up. I select this layer here, right? Edit, copy, edit, paste. Now you can see how that's starting to shape up. Now the thing is, all of these other layers are more or less the same. They're just slices of voxels. So I don't need to keep copying, keep pasting, keep copying, pasting. I'll just go again, edit, paste. Now I'll move this one over. Now you can see it just goes up one. So if I move that up one, there you go. Now I'll edit again, paste, shift this over. Now it goes up two, so it's like one, two. Oh, there we go. Now I am missing a layer here, but that's no big deal for me to just go and fill that in later. I just know, whoa. I know I just have to add one layer there. That's not a big deal. That's better than me trying to balance out. All right, I have four on this side, I have three on this side. Okay, so if we keep this process going, edit, paste, you can see what's going to happen here. And then this one goes up, so it went up two, went up three. Up three. Now I am missing a few layers, so obviously I can just, whoa, what happened there? I can just go back in and fill in these layers like so. Now you can see I'm basically almost there. Now, are there faster ways? Yes, and we'll get to that, but for now, you can see how this takes a lot of the guesswork out of trying to rebuild this structure. Now, if I really wanted to, this one's already long, so I guess I might as well save myself the trouble and just go ahead. Whoa. Whoa! I've been playing Crash Bandicoot a lot. Uh, I bought the package for the Switch, and I got that whoa in my head. I love the whoa. All right, so we're gonna copy, we're gonna paste. Then you move that over and then up three. And then we're almost there. Again, I'll just go back to the pen tool and fill in these last couple. And there should be one more. And there you go. I have that horn perfectly balanced out and I didn't have to try to really figure it out by building and crafting. I think a lot of people think 
about this in the way of like sculpting, which is fine if that's how your brain works. But that starts to confuse me, especially after I'm working on something complex, like I'm building this beard here and then I start getting confused. It's a lot easier to just cut things into slices and think of it that way. Kind of harken back to your mirroring tools and think, how do these mirrors slice things up and then try to build based off of that using your copy and paste. All right, tip number one. I like sound effects. Tip number one is using our layers section over here to drastically speed up your creating in Vox Editor. So you saw in tip number two, we use copy and paste. We kind of copied some layers and we moved them over. There's a better way to do that, okay? So let's say we have this head here and let's imagine this other horn doesn't exist. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Get out of here. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, so we're down to a one horn abominable snowman here. What we can do here to get another horn is we'll go over to our layers section, see? And right now we're on main one, but there's this little duplicate button. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate, and now you have main one one. Doesn't matter what the names is, it's just an extra version of this entire thing. Now we don't see anything because it's like with inside of itself. But if you click off this little button, you can see nothing happens, but if I click on the new one, main one one, and I shift it over, oh, you can start to see, oh, he's morphing. Uh, yeah, he's demented. All right, you can see, so now if I turn off the original layer, see, you have this new layer there that is the same. So what we can do is we'll turn that off and we'll keep this new layer and then we'll just go up here to the red button and we'll flip it on the X axis. We'll flip it on the X axis. And you can see how that other horn is there. We just gotta get rid of this guy's head. I'm gonna go up to here, orthographic, go to the eraser mode and this thing, and let's just start going to town on his face. Get out of here, dude. But down. All right, we got a little bit left. Get rid of that, get out of here. Go on, go on, go on, go on, baby. What is that, go on. All righty, now let's move this over a little bit more. Turn that back on, oh, whoa, he's got another horn. I got lucky there, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be off a little bit, but it was perfect. Now the problem is you can see that these are moving independently, right? which, you know, might not be the biggest deal, but as you're building and you're moving these things around, you might start to lose some voxels or things are gonna get out of place. Luckily, on that same layers panel, we have this little sandwich button. You're gonna click on that and they become one. Look, it moves as one. He is complete. He feels good inside. He is whole. Namaste, Mr. Abominable Snowman. All right, guys, that's been my five tips to edit faster in Vox Edit. Not only will you edit faster, you'll be more efficient. That's kind of the same thing, but you'll have more fun. You'll be better at how, I don't know. You'll be better in every single way. You'll be more handsome, more beautiful. You'll smell better. Food will taste better. You'll make more money. I, uh, I don't know, but probably, sure, why not? Everything is better with these tips. So if you enjoyed this video, you found this helpful, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Come on, you know you want to. It helps me. It helps you because then you'll be informed about my next great content, my spazzy afternoon where I had too much coffee. Come on, get into it. But seriously, guys, as always, thanks so much for joining me, and I'm sure I'll see you next time. All right, <laughs> I think I've lost my mind. I smell nice. It must be the tips. It's the tips. It's the tips. Just the tips.